Kingdom advancement raised the dead. Mm. Brought a child out of a terminal disease. God hasn't changed. God hasn't changed. God hasn't changed. One of our young ladies is getting to 82 now. She was sharing her testimony that she sits up in the night writing the prayer point for their service group. Amen. From the day's message. 82. 82 for 21 years has not been to any hospital. You can't be in, command, you can't be in pursuit of God and the interest of his kingdom and not be in command of the supernatural. Thou shalt serve, he shall bless. He shall take away sickness from you. You shall not be burdened or cast young in the land. The number of your days he will fulfill. Has God changed? No. Well, you partake of this communion, it will be a seal on what you have heard tonight. Yeah. And beginning from now, advancing the kingdom will remain your lifelong delight. Yeah. Stand in a place of prayer and say, Oh God, this coming service on Sunday, show yourself. Oh God, let everybody that you gather to yourself encounter you live. Oh Lord God, before the 40 days is over, manifest yourself to everyone on the watch. Oh God, heal everyone that may be sick in their homes right now. Oh Jesus, touch every soul that is under, the, under any form of satanic oppression. You are advancing the kingdom. You know the needs of some individuals. Take it to God in prayers. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And in the name of Jesus, you find yourself naturally in command the supernatural in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, it's time to serve the communion. Whatever you hold as your drink and bread in that place is done. Amen. You know, the story of the woman with the of law, we are still hearing the testimony and is still producing testimonies. Mm. So the Olushoga testimony that we have all the way from India, who got cleansed of bone marrow cancer from the communion table that was served in Canaan land. Right? I'm blessed for anyone that was anywhere. And Jesus flushed out bone marrow cancer from the communion table. One of my sons in the Lord came all the way from Cameroon, reading with HIV AIDS. His body was growing fungus. So the doctor said, we can't do anything anymore. So he came here. And in the course of the message, hallelujah, in the course of the message, his flesh was vibrated, vibrated, vibrated. He took the communion that morning, and that was it. That was HIV it. negative. Amen. The time I met him, two years after, he was already in ministry. Amen. Already in ministry, the devil put to shame. Amen. Tonight is your night. Amen. Every planting of the devil troubling anyone's life, We'll be rooted up tonight. Amen. Every stranger in your system. Jesus. Rooted up tonight. Amen. Everyone afflicted by this coronavirus plague. You partake of this and you are free forever. Amen. Everyone under the attack of any terminal disease. You partake of this and those evils are terminated in your life. Amen. Anyone appointed to death, I command the siege of death destroyed. Amen. This is declared the flesh Amen. and the blood of Jesus. Amen. And the same applies to what you are holding where you may be anywhere around the world. Yes, yes. This is declared the flesh and the blood of Jesus. Amen. You partake of it. Anything unlike Jesus clears off your body. Amen. Clears off your mind. Amen and clears off your spirit Amen. in Jesus name Amen. so shall it be Amen. take and leave Amen. he said this do in remembrance of me that I already paid the price and this is the seal of the price paid for you to glorify God in your body and in your spirit which are the Lord you have been born with a price this is a seal of your receipt this is your receipt born with a price to walk in freedom and liberty all the days of your life Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Go ahead and serve the table of the Lord.